I saw on the on the uh, brochure was um, animals in viticulture. Um, yeah, okay, no, but it's not animals in viticulture. It's animals of farming organisms, which is uh, the real subject that we're discussing today. And we are winemakers, <coughs> but we are farmers. And as a biodynamic farmer, what is my main goal? What is my main aim as a farmer? It's not to make wine. It's to develop a farming organism. We use the word self-sustaining as a kind of a context to work in. But what we're really trying to do is to develop a full organism that is healthy and self-sustaining. But to do this, let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look at um, another way of approaching this idea. No? Let's call it the city of nature. I was thinking about this. Um, I use this analogy sometimes because we often have to speak to people who have absolutely no idea of farming, of biodynamics now. So we must try and give them an idea of what does it mean to a complete organism? What does it actually mean now? So I use the city of nature, I say. And when I came to drivers, people who drive out trucks, buses, taxis, trains, boats, ships, aeroplanes, people who drive, they, they felt like the lifeblood of our civilization. Take the drivers out of the equation, and our civilization comes to a full stop. They make the blood go around, no? So I won't, I won't write down all the different activities they do, but I think drivers, we really owe them a great deal, because they are like the blood in our organism. They make everything go around, and this is quite something. Without them, civilization would stop today. But we have bakers. We have artisans. And when I say artisans, I include carpentry, electricity, plumbing, furniture making, um, tiles, uh, bathroom fittings. So people who really know how to work with the products of our elements and create our environment that is so wonderful. No, they're all artisans. Then we have um, people who make clothes. People who make us clothes, shoes and everything that we can think of, no? Um, food, people who make food. And so we have shops of food, we have the bakery, we have a clothes shop, we have a shop where we can buy tools, and so on and so on and so on. We have all these activities that go on in our city. Now, the question is, if we were to take one of these things away, what would happen? Life would become harder. And then we take something else away. Again, life would become much more harder. And then we take something else away. And again, life would become impossible. And so the question is, at which point, how many things do we take out of the city of nature where nature and the city of nature no longer works? This is a really valid question to modern farming, or conventional farming, and even organic farming to a certain extent. Now, this is a question for our scientists, our people who educate future farmers in, in colleges and universities, because they're teaching them to take out all the components of the city of nature. And so our work, what is it? When we speak of a, an organism, what are we talking about? We're talking about developing all of the activities that the city of nature requires to function properly. Now we use, and let's use, some ideas, some cycles, because we work a lot with cycles. No? We work with the idea of astrality and life forces, the etheric world, and the balance between the two. 
when we talk about preparations that go into the compost, and so what we're talking about are living forces that interact in the soil, and like the drivers in a way, they make everything go around. No? But let's look at, um, for example, the cycle of trees. What do we get with trees? We get birds. Above the trees, and lava, larvae, below the trees. When we look at um, crops, vineyards in particular, what do we get? Uh, let's put vineyards, vines. Let's go to the crop level. We get flying insects and worms. When we come to shrubs and such, and we will use this as we go further, shrubs, we get a relationship with the animals. And so this is all practical, you know, the artisan, the baker and what have you. But what do they do? We have, on the upper level, a development of the astral forces that work on our land. In the lower level, we have a regulation of the life forces, the etheric forces of our land. So when we're talking about an organism, what do we really intend? That the forces and the cycles that develop and work the forces are there. This is what we mean by an organism. It's not okay, it's easy to say five cows, three goats, two chickens, and watch out for my chicken because she's quite a character. <laughs> if you ever visit us, you need protection, she's quite a character. Horses, yeah. uh, and so on. Uh, but what are we really dealing with? It's not the animals themselves. They are the artisans, if you like. They are the people that make the bread or whatever. But they're actually dealing with the forces the astral forces and the etheric forces. And not only, if we look at a cow, and let's look at the relationship between the plant world and the animal world through the cow, because it's really, really quite interesting. One. I can't draw a cow, so let's just write cow, okay? We have a cow, let's say, yeah? <laughs> plant. What do they both do? They breathe. Both of them breathe. Yeah? What does a cow breathe in? Oxygen. Breathe out. Carbon. What does a plant breathe in? Carbon. What does it breathe out? Oxygen. Look at that wonderful cycle. Also, what does a cow produce th through eating plants? Ego manure. It's not enough to say manure. They produce ego manure. They have not taken out the forces to sustain an ego. They are very complex uh, organisms, we know. And their manure is full of ego forces, which the plant loves, really enjoys, and needs. We have the ego forces of the cow, then the breathing process, of the plant. The cow eats the plant and provides the ego forces to the plant. They work together. One cannot work without the other. They are a cycle on themselves. What a cow brings in and lets out is exactly the same, opposite to what the plant comes it brings in and brings out. We could never think of an animal without plants to it. Rightly so, because they are a complete cycle. And they determine, to the greatest extent, what we call a farming organism, through the cycles they develop. We looked before, trees, larva, flying insects, and uh, worms. And the relationship, actually, that animals have, have and this is the relationship the animals have with the plants on our land. 
No? And so we're developing that city of life, that interchange. With all, all of this are the drivers. But in nature, all this stuff that's moving around is the same. You know, we have drivers in nature that are bringing up, bringing down, moving here, moving there. Now we call them elemental beings in a certain respect. They are the life blood of earth and of our work. You know? <coughs> so I wanted to talk about the animal organi uh, organism, uh, not the animal, but the farming organism in this way. This is our approach. You know? it's the practical issue would be to how many of this, that and the other animal do I need to develop this cycle where I can feed the land and create cycles where then I can also take out a product. And in our, mostly in our cases, we're talking about wine, grapes. How do I develop the cycles that can sustain the production of grapes in these dynamics? No, this is the practical task we have. But behind that practical task, we must come to understand better our relationship with the animal world and our responsibility for the animal world, not just for the sacrifice, but what kind of a world do we want tomorrow? Because it's our task to create that world. You know, only biodynamic farms can create the soil that humanity needs tomorrow. No one else can do it. You know, and it's a huge task. We must, uh, I'm going to say, I hate to put it this way, but we must take the task seriously. It's not about grapes and about wine. It's about giving humanity the possibility of evolving. That's the ground of our work, first. The grapes and the wine are just the things that make the economic cycle work for us. Nothing more. No? 